Darrell Lennon, talk us through your uh, senior Ireland debut. Um, yeah, it was brilliant. Obviously, to get the win uh, was the main thing, but to come on for such an Irish legend, um, I'll cherish it for the rest of my life. First half, obviously, just before, I kind of was a bit disappointed, so I'm, I made sure I'd come out in the second half and kind of make up for it, which uh, thankfully we did, and we got the two goals to win the game. Yeah, what happened for the American goal? You were probably only on six or seven minutes, and they played a, a ball into the box, and your, your, your man kind of got, got ahead of you? Yeah, he got, into, he got, uh, he got above me, but uh, which I... Looking back, I probably should have done better and I learned from. Um, but like I said, thankfully we, we won the game and that was the main thing in the end. Talk us through the opening Ireland goal and your view of it and what happened. I think uh, I think Borky sneaked it in anyway, uh, what he's saying. But uh, Akev just knocked it in. I just took it on my chest, I think, and just volleyed it. Um, I kept it on target, which is the main thing, and Borky was there to just tap home. Yourself and Berkey are uh, mates from Dublin for years. Did you have word in his ear about robbing your first Ireland goal in your debut? I did, yeah. I was giving a bit of guff out about <laughs> afterwards. But, uh, uh, no, fair play to him. He's worked ever so hard and uh, he deserves it. Like, he's playing the Shamrock Rovers, but I don't know for how long. Um, he's a brilliant player. All the boys have seen it uh, the past couple of days and training. Like I said, I knew him from the, the Belvedere days and uh, he was he's a class act. Yeah, from your point of view, to, to make your senior Ireland debut, which I know you played against Celtic, but that doesn't cap, count as an actual cap to do it in Dublin at TV, but it's something I'm sure you'll remember forever. Oh, I will. Um, and like you said, to come on for such a legend like John O'Shea uh, makes it even better. I'll always, I'll always have that memory in my mind. And uh, and like you said, it, it makes it even better to win. Um, if we lost the game, it wouldn't feel near as good, but uh, thankfully you won. Something you want more of now? Yeah, without a doubt. It's... Um, now kind of relax for the next couple of weeks and then back in pre-season and um, just try to hit the ground running really back into the championship next year and uh, we'll see where it takes us. Yeah, there's been some time you've been in the squad now with the Celtic game, a little break and then these two games, the camp as well. How have you found your, your first proper kind of long-term experience as, as an Ireland senior player? Yeah, the boys have been brilliant with me. Um, made me feel wel- welcome since day one. Um, and you can see in training there's a big step up. The Premier League players... Um, and I'm looking to like learn every each and every day from them. Um, and all the boys have great attitude to the game. And uh, I'll just I'll just keep learning and keep working hard on the game. Is it a level and a standard you feel that you'll be up to playing long term? Even tonight with John O'Shea playing his last game, you come on from there's one centre back on and, and you come on and did quite well on your debut. So is it something you want more of? Definitely. Oh, without a doubt, uh, it's a huge honour to represent your country. Um, it was my first ever cap today, so. Hopefully I can get more and uh, and just like I said, just need to keep working hard and keep improving my game and fingers crossed you never know what could happen. How were you feeling on the sideline when you knew you were coming on and clearly it was going to be for John as well, so all the TV cameras were going to be on you too and to make your debut as we said in Dublin it must have been a was it a nervy a nervy feeling or what were you feeling? Yeah, not really. It's more exciting than anything else. You come to the Ireland games and you always you always had that in your back of head, geez, someday hopefully I'll be out there and uh, today was the day and um, I just kind of look at these things just with more excitement than anything else. Obviously, there's a little bit of nervousness, but uh, the more I play, the, the easier I'll get. And uh, I'll just keep, like I said, I'll just need to keep working hard and just because it's going to be tougher opposition come to the Aviv, and we all know that. So uh, we'll just look forward now and uh, we'll just move on. We said the same to Graham Burke the other day after his debut in Paris. When you were a young fellow playing in Dublin, did you ever think you were going to play for Ireland in Dublin as a senior player and pull that green jersey on? It was always a, an aspiration of mine to play for my country. It's the proudest moment today in my life. Uh, without shell of a doubt so uh, it was great great day um, and like I said I just need hopefully I can uh, just move on and keep keep getting more caps and finally back to Blackburn obviously after a little holiday back in the championship a fantastic season last year in, in League 1 just looking forward to, to getting back to the, to the level where you guys obviously only spent one season back down in League 1 yeah uh, I felt the club doesn't deserve to be in League fo- League 1 no offence it, it deserves to be in a higher league and uh, it's, we know it's going to be a tough challenge we know that from the previous experience but uh, I think our manager is, uh, is very good and he knows he knows what, it, what to expect from the league and uh, I'm sure he'll have us in a great position come next season Darlene and thanks a million no brother Jamie